the lab manual talks about finding the uh, the focal length of the 127 millimeter lens, just verifying it. Uh, look overhead and find a table that's directly below the fluorescent lights. You need to be directly below the lights, and then just move this up and down until you see the fluorescent light become focused on the table. And then take a meter stick and measure that distance to see if it's around 127. For this experiment, you're going to set up the optics bench uh, with an object here, a lens, and the image screen over here. When you set this up, the lab manual talks about the light source being at the zero end of the optics bench. Well, this is the zero end. It doesn't mean to put it at zero. It's the zero end as a, compared to this end. Uh, so put it down here and put your object. Oh, I like to put mine at 20. It's just an easy number. And then it says put the lens about 200 millimeters. And then you just move this until you have it focused. Then you're going to move this one centimeter that way and adjust this until it's in focus again. And we need to have a short word about the measurements. Our object here, you have to be careful when you write down the measurements. I've tried to line up the, the, the white line, the vertical white line on my holder with the 20. But notice that the position of the object is a little bit downstream of that 20. You need to record this value of 20 millimeters as your object position. That's the position of the holder. Record that. Later on, you're going to do the adjustment in your calculate, excuse me, the adjustment for this offset here. But do not record the offset value. Record the holder position. And same thing for the lens. Again, record this position for the holder. In your calculations for P, you're going to take into account the offset of the lens from the holder. And likewise with the target, uh, excuse me, the, the screen for the image. Uh, the Q distance here, you're going to compensate for this being offset and for this being offset.